Welcome back to Mel and McCart. Uh, my name is Mickey and I'm playing with um, White Knights again today. Um, I think I've done one other video um, on these paints. Um, St. Petersburg is in Russia and I guess in the 1900s these, uh, the sales of these paints helped them restore buildings and um, help restore paintings at galleries or the galleries themselves. So um, these are actually priced really low. They're very affordable and I recommend them as a beginner's artist grade kind of uh, paint um, because they're very, very, very affordable. The pans are quite large. Um, you get a lot of paint. Um, and uh, if you're collecting all of the 64 colors, you'll you'll be able to do it in no time if you if you keep plucking away at it. Um, now they have um, in 2017 they they added these new um, colors, and I have a few here to show you. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out the new ones that I bought. I have um, one of the newer ones, the Kodakron Lilac. Wait, is this one of the new ones? No, nope, it's not. Okay. Or Violet. It says Lilac on it. And I wonder if I had gotten that name wrong. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch these out. I wanted a yellow ochre, an indigo, and this is a Ceruleum blue with an M at the end instead of an N. Um, so I'm really curious about this because it's PB35. And I don't have that pigment in all of my um, my swatches of my main palette. I don't I don't think I have that pigment. Um, so it'll be interesting to try that out. Get sepia English red. This is a very very hard word to pronounce. It's um, Shaknazarskaya. Shaknazarskaya. I can't say it. <laughs> That's um, a PR 102 and a Ruby. So I'm pretty excited about these. I never swatched out these prior six that I got and there's some new ones in this one um, up off this list. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch those out for you. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out. And this is actually lilac. There is a Kodakadron violet that they sell also. But I got confused, I guess. So this is a PV19. It's very comparable with any other PV19 that you see out there. Another one that comes to mind is Turner Watercolors Quinn Violet, and it's PV19 also. So, it's a beautiful color. This yellow ochre is one that I'm curious about. They put a PY1, which is a ye yellow um, pigment that's not light fast in there. I really don't think they needed to do that, but we'll see why when we swatch it out. Maybe to give it a bit more transparency, that's what I'm thinking. pretty and it will do and this um, indigo also has a PV3 it's PBK7 which is a black and PB15 which is a very phthalo blue color and the PB3 is a violet which is fugitive so I'm not sure why they did that but it's a gorgeous indigo very blue they didn't even need the PB three in there. So I really like that for the dark blue aspect. And here's, oops, I'm going to really wash that out. This is the Ceruleum blue that I was curious about. It's fairly opaque. I can see it useful for skies. A little bit granulating there. Very nice. 
This is the sepia I was curious about. It's got two reds, a PR-102, which is one of these, this one right here, a PR-187, which I don't even know what that is. PR-187, can't find it in my list. And a PBK-7, which is a black. So right away I can tell that there's some of this color in there. It's a very nice sepia. It's very light fast, so I really like that. It's nice and burnt and dark colored, but not so much that it's almost black. So here's the English red, which is a very uh, rusty uh, orangey red. It's beautiful. I really like playing with that because it's nice. <laughs> it's very silty. It's got a nice texture to it. Okay, so this is Shakna Sarkaya Red. Okay, I really tried there for you guys. I hope that makes a lot of sense. But uh, this is a PR102, so it's a little bit more orange and a lot more transparent than this one. It's really, really pretty. Kind of like an orange oxide really nice i could see myself using this a lot and this is ruby just one of those ones i didn't have and i wanted to pick up another mid red to my reds that i have oh it's really pretty it's a pr 170 and that range is kind of a an alizarin range but this is supposed to be very light fast i can already see it's a leaning toward the cool it's really pretty. I'm glad I got this one. These are the other reds I have. I have the Less Light Fast Carmine. And I believe this is, oh, this is a Cad Red Light, which is very orange. So this would go right in the middle of those two. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side and do these real quick. I had never swatched these out for you guys. Yeah, how am I going to do that? Hold on a second. Okay, so I had gotten, uh, had bought an Andanthrene Blue, which is a great staple blue, beautiful, almost reminds me of the jean, jean, blue jeans color. Ah! So here's another one of the new, which is Sap Green. I didn't really do that Andanthrene very dark. Let me see if I can get it a little darker. Yeah, there we go. So this is the sap green, and they didn't give me a lot. It kind of really sunk in there. Maybe that's just the way the binder is. It's a really bright, sunny sap green. And you can go darker with it, as you see. It's got three pigments, PY150, PG36, and a PBK7. So I'm going to put these over here. This is a, um, one that I bought that I wasn't really sure I should have gotten, but it may be useful in some scenes. It's a very, very, almost overly bright green, which is, I mean, useful in its own way for something. And this is the Quinn Violet, actually, not the Lilac. So I'll hold up the other one to show you the difference. This is a lot more deep and the pigment is PB, PV55. And honestly, it is a light fast color, but that's another one I don't see, commonly see. And this is their Quinn Red, which really can be drawn out to a very light pink, maybe an upper rose kind of bright pink. And they're beautiful ending gold. I really love this one. Which is kind of um, like a quinacridone gold kind of feel to it. It's absolutely beautiful. You can go really dark with it or really light with it and make this beautiful buttery yellow. So there they are. And all of them will completely fill my pan, so I'm going to do that next. 
Oh, let me do a comparison between these two violets, uh, lilacs and violets. So here's the lilac, and here's the violet. So this is a little bit more warm, and this is a little bit more cool. Two different pigments. Very nice. I'm really happy with with um, with white nights. They they do a good job for a very affordable. Um, these are the ones that Wendy um, sent to me to try for my birthday last year, and this is what got me hooked. <laughs> And they, the, she had perfect choices. I actually bought another one of these because I was so excited about this PG-8 being so dark. Love it. So let me compile them together and I'll see you right after that. Okay, so I've assembled um, all of my colors and what I try to do is, oops, it's still wet, is I try to keep my warms. Okay, so this would be considered the warm group, even this one, but so here's my warms and here's my cool colors and I try to keep them separate and I try to go from, and I also try to go from light to dark. So if you're ever wondering how to um, sort your colors um, just go from lightest to darkest and keep your warms on one side and your cools on the other it just kind of helps um, sort them for you and keep the them less muddy um, when you're painting etc well this is this is what I do anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little time lapse with these um, I've been working on uh, portraits for people that have been really supportive of me over on the sketchy app I do portraits um, over there and um, I started out as a landscape artist and I went into portraits because portraits are really my passion so that app has helped me enormously so here's a, just a quick rundown of the colors I swatched well I didn't do those but I did these and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the time lapse. Thanks for joining me. This was um, fun and just to let you know, these are great paints. They're great, they're affordable, they're comparable to the higher quality paints um, and um, you really can't beat it. So take care, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.